Welcome you absolute legends, I am Former Phrases, I am Pete, I am back and today we're talking about a new release, I'm doing my full review of it, it's from the House of Dodge and Goodbye, it's a light blue Italian love, oh god that was bad wasn't it, that was awful, but yeah, this one, if you've got light blue forever, it, this might be redundant, but I like both because I'm greedy so I don't really care, so I've had a few wearings of this, and to be honest with you, I'm going to tell you what I think. So in the top, there's some Sicilian bergamot and grapefruit, which gives it a real citrusy pop right off the bat. It just gives you a, like, goes, hello, I'm here. And it's very predominant. Good projection for about a good hour, which is not bad for a designer release, especially as it is an EDT concentration. Um, so I was quite pleased with that. Um, then the longevity was a good seven hours on my skin. Again, I'm pretty pleased with that as well then you've got going into the mid some ozonic notes and green notes now please if anyone knows what the hell that even means please let me know did they just go out and bite and pick up some grass and some plants and just say that's green notes i don't know or do they go into the atmosphere and go that's some air that's ozonic notes that sounds great mm. like it i don't get it maybe maybe because i'm just dyslexic i don't get it but i don't care but it does give it like a nice freshness to it, a nice quality to it. Then there's some violet leaf and cashmere as well in the mid, which gives it a little bit of body, which is good. Then the base, you've got vetiver, musk, patchouli, and guyot wood. Now, the guyot wood and the vetiver works really well here. It gives it a nice little backbone, which gives it a good performance as well. This is actually cheaper than Light Blue Forever, which is a good plus. It's £65, give or take, right now. Um, I got a good deal on it, it was actually just about 45 when I got mine. But this is a great little number, it's great for spring, summer, you know, you can wear it casually as you like, it will work. But I also think this is going to work brilliantly in the fall and winter, and I think this one might be a little gem when it comes to that sort of time. Because when it gets colder, the citruses get a bit more piercing, especially through the cool air, it's going to really just amplify right up. So I'm quite intrigued to see how this works in the fall and winter this year. Again, I haven't had time to try it because it's only just been released, but this is going to be something I think I'm going to try a bit more often. I mean, I did a little video of this, of the best citrus fragrances to wear in fall and winter. Go check out that video. Um, but this one, I think it would be up there with, with some of those other ones. So I still love the smell of this. It's very fresh. It's very uplifting. Um, I probably wouldn't wear it going out. This is definitely office safe, so it'll last you the whole day. So if you've got an office job and you want to smell nice, fresh, a little bit woodsy, this thing will work perfectly for you. It's a great little number, and like I say, 100ml for £65. I can't see that being a bad bang for your bar, bang for your money, especially if it's new release. Now, if it goes to discounters and it starts going down to maybe like 40 quid, then you've got a real deal on your hand because I think that when that's when it'll really start selling like hotcakes because I just think right now some people are going, mm, everything's going up through the roof, wait. If you get a discount, I think this will sell like ridiculous amounts. So there you go, it's Dodge going by a light blue Italian love. My full review, I think it's a great little number. I'll give it seven and a half out of 10. I think it's decent, it does what it needs to do. Um, it's not a monster, but I think for a designer release, it's pretty good. Alright, so there you go. Dolce & Gabbana Light Brew Italian Love. I think it's a great little number. It's one I think I will rock a lot this spring and summer. Probably more summer now because it's mid, and mid to end May. So it's going definitely going, hopefully getting warmer. Unless you're in England, in which case you get three days of sunshine, which is about what we get. So my scent of the day is I went with something a bit more robust, a little bit more green. Um, I went from the house of Isimaki. It's Blue de Estrell. And I love this fragrance. The rosemary in this is fantastic. It's a great little number. Really like this one. So again, this is quite cheap actually. This is runs you about 20, 22 quid for a 100ml bottle. And if you can see, I've done a little bit of a dent in it. So that was my scent of the day. As always, let me know what your scent of the day is. Or if you've got a question, a top 10 uh, request, or a fragrance review you want me to do, please hit me up. I love hearing from you guys. It, you're amazing. Um, I've still got a few videos I need to catch up on, but I'm getting there. As always, I'm on Instagram with Forming Fragrances. And as always, you absolute legends. Smell amazing. Thank you so much for watching.
Peace out.